Every Sunday, I spend four hours planning the 20 outfits I'll wear the coming week. <laughs> David Steve. Do you lay them out or do you just picture them? I rack them. So in, in my bedroom, I've had some special bars put up. Oh, yeah, and I remember they... those. Yeah. <laughs> he has, I yeah. can vouch for this. So I have one which is about five foot eight, OK? And then I have another one which is about four foot high. OK, so when you put a pair of trousers on or a jacket or a top, it then looks like you. I occasionally, if I'm very busy, I photograph them. And then yeah, I, keep I remember them that bit, me. too. Yeah. <laughs> And explain why you need 20 out, because I'm thinking, even if you... I, I mean, I'm a tremendous slovenly slut. <laughs> it feels like you're phoning Babe Station and someone else has picked up... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I speak to Sheila, the regular one? <laughs> I often uh, wear the same outfit in the afternoon as in the morning. I could be filming a series, and then I might be filming three different shows in one day, so I'll need three different outfits to represent three different episodes. I might be going out for lunch, and then I'll be doing something in the afternoon, so I'll get changed from a lunch outfit, because I don't want to be too dressed up to walk the dog. And it's also <laughs> done by a weather report as well. What? The Met Office are fools. <laughs> Do you go through with your galoshes so, in bright sunshine <laughs> on a Friday evening? You're presenting yourself as someone who plans things very carefully, thinks yeah. things through very carefully, but your very act of planning is in itself badly thought through. <laughs> because on a Monday, you've just you only planned it the day before, you've got a good sense of what the weather's going to be like, your, your plans for the day are probably better formed, so on Mondays, that's absolutely fine. I know what I need in the morning, the afternoon, and, you know, for outfits three and four. <laughs> but come Friday, the weather's all to cock, <laughs> the dog has died, <laughs> you've dropped two scenes you're supposed to film on the Wednesday, you've got to fit them in on the Friday. But I've taken photographs. So even if I've planned a Thursday PM outfit and I decide I don't want to wear it, I just flick through my phone and I might want to choose a Saturday PM outfit. And Lee, I'll go back to it. What? How long do you spend on a Sunday <laughs> getting your outfits ready for the week? What I do is I look at the seven or eight or maybe sometimes nine dirty underpants in the bag. <laughs> I work out exactly, I spread them out on the bed. <laughs> I look at them, I think, which can take a fourth, fourth trip? <laughs> <laughs> David, I'm curious to, to put the same question to you. Sunday night comes around, you've had a smashing day, country file is finished, and now you're thinking... <laughs> you're thinking, I've got a plan ahead. How yeah. much time and thought goes into it for you? Well, I always wear basically the same thing every day, so none. You're, you're like Batman in that respect, aren't yes, you? Yes, I, I, I see myself as a superhero and I have basically one outfit. Which, not, you know, and it, What's it, your it's superpower? The ability to decide what to wear very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you thinking, David? Does I yes, think it sounds yeah. very plausible. It does sound plausible, but is it too plausible? I think it's true. David's team thinks it's true. Gok, were you telling the truth? Or were you telling a lie? I... Are you I... trying to work out what to wear before you... <laughs> <laughs> I... was telling the truth. <laughs>